what is going on everybody so while doing my titanium bolts i'm gonna show you the lonely anticipated video of uh what fabworks did to me to fuck me over basically so let's get into it real quick get all the details Get all the uh, facts, no bullshit. First, when I started working with Fabworks, I uh, bought their exhaust. The, uh, the white pipe, mid pipe, tail section. So I got all that and um, it went okay. It went pretty good. Um, he built it. I came there, they installed it. Everything was fine. Then I ordered titanium downpipes. And mind you, a lot of people were warning me about his shadiness and all kinds of shit that he does and doesn't keep his word and blah, blah, blah. But he done good by me with the exhaust, so I was like, whatever. Let me, uh, let me get those titanium downpipes done. So I ordered the titanium downpipes, two, month pa two months pass, I still don't have them. It got to the point where I was going to say fuck it and I'm just going to buy something else. But he assured me he was going to build it, so it was a big, just fuck, just big fuck around that just waiting and waiting for, I don't even know if it was going to be done or if it wasn't going to be done. So August rolls around, and this is right when I got my car first tuned. I already had my appointment with Alpha. I was already ready to put downpipes in my car. As, and he finally finishes them. Comes to, my, uh, comes to my shop because I got no time to go to his. Comes to my shop, we install the downpipes. One downpipe does not fit. I don't know, I don't know how he built it. He has the jigs for it, but one downpipe does not fit. So what ended up happening was, which I'm gonna show you right now, he, you know, took a hammer to it. Like you would with any header or some shit that don't fit right. You know, you take a hammer to it, you hammer it out a little bit, but this ain't a little bit, this is a lot hammer it in so it clears, fits, so I could get my car tuned because I'm already scheduled for it. And there's no way around it. Um, I paid $2,000 for these downpipes. And one of my downpipes is bent and fucked up. Promised me he was going to build me one, perfect one, that would fit my car. Not this bent piece of shit, but the fucking perfect one that goes right in that is worth that thousand that I fucking paid for. Okay? That was August. We're in August now, so a year passed. And I still do not have that downpipe. Not that it matters because I don't care at this point. Um... I've already blown them the fuck up on everywhere I could. I told everybody about what happened. No one in their right mind is going to go do business with him at all, ever again. Because I told him, I was like, if I don't got my downpipe by this date, we done. I'm done waiting. Because that, that's all it was. It was just a fucking waiting game. And it was a year. So... He gave me all these fucking bullshit stories about how, oh, he's got one built already, it's already done, ready to install in your car. I text him, when can I come by to install the downpipe? Some bullshit answer. Okay. Month passes. When can I install the downpipe? Busy. Okay. When can I come install the downpipe? 
Now there's no answer. Why did I install the downpipe? No answer. No answer. No answer. Until it got to the point where I was like, if I don't get my downpipe by this day, I will fucking destroy you. Is the downpipe on my car? Nope. So, let me show you. And I'll get back to you. Real quick. Alrighty. So, as you can see, this downpipe fits good. No clearance issues. And now let's take a look at that downpipe. Oh, you see that right there? Look at that fucking indent. So, we smashed, he smashed that in so it could fit the car. And now this, this is what I paid $1,000 for, ladies and gentlemen. Take a good look. This is what I paid a grand for. Promised me... He was going to build me a new one. A new one was going to be installed. Well, it's safe to say he's not a man of his word. Not a man of his word at all. So, that's that. Now we're going by a friend of mine's. His name is Ed. Uh, he uh, he owns Force Fed Engineering in Long Island, and he's gonna fix that problem for me, which I will pay even more money for. Okay, let me flip this shit around. Seen that shit? That's what I'm working with. And that's what you're going to be working with if you go do business with him. Anything goes wrong with your shit, good luck. Because you fucking shit out of luck and shit out of money. Me, I don't give a... I really don't give a shit. I really don't. I've got, I don't know, four, five, six people that could go build me the same shit all I'm gonna pay is just money cool I'll pay that money you will never see another fucking GTR in your shop and if I ever lay eyes on you things ain't gonna get pretty if you're watching this video so anyway that's that. Scumbag fucked me out of a downpipe. Never got back to me. Never is going to get back to me. And I will make damn sure everybody knows about what he did. And I will make damn sure not one fucking GTR or anything for that matter ever goes to him for work. Because you just do not treat your customers like that. Plain and simple. You don't run a business like that. You don't. So that's that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is the Fab Work story. We'll get it all fixed. Spread the word. Spread the news. And if you're still going to do business with him, you are one dumb motherfucker. Which I do not feel sorry for. Anyway, I'm going to go get back to my titanium down, uh, mixing up this titanium shit already. Too much titanium. Going back to my titanium bolts that I'm reinstalling. Catch you on the next one.